Hello, welcome back to my channel. I received this EcoFlow Delta Max for review. It basically doubles the previous gen uh, at 2048 watt hour. I'm gonna do an um, uh, unedited video uh, and we're gonna unbox it and test the solar input. This is my setup, by the way. I have 200 watts uh, glass panel from EcoFlow to uh, test its recharging capability. It has 800 watts of solar input via its XT60. This is its previous gen. I'm also going to test that massive DeWalt 12-inch uh, miter saw to see if it can really live up to its 2,400 watts of maximum power output promise. Uh, let's take a look. And the AC charging input is gonna be rated at 1,800 watts, so which is the maximum of a US household AC receptacles can provide. Well, this thing is big and heavy. I better leave it on the ground first. Okay, there you go. Compared to this uh, previous gen, it is uh, taller, it's wider. Accessories. And right off the bat, I'm going to run it off this DeWalt miter saw. If it can power the DeWalt miter saw, I think it is safe to assume that any household appliances should be able to run off this thing. Microwave, um, coffee machine, whatever. It has the 5021 uh, DC adapter. This is to power, for example, the routers to get the DC direct output from it. And the AC input is gonna be in the back and we also have the 12 volt car charging adapter to XT60. So in front we have uh, the USB-C 100 watts dual output for USB-C, for USB type A. Let me power it on. Came at 28%. So on the side we have the battery, extra battery port, two ports actually. So it would be able to connect to, um, let me zoom in. It will be able to connect to um, additional battery packs. Okay, with that uh, camera problem out of the way. Let's take a look at the back. There are six AC ports, uh, 12 volt output, AC uh, on off switch, and if it should be uh, able to, support pass-through charging. Well, wow, there's a lot of ports. Look, I'm gonna zoom in once once again. So you can see there's um, two sets of XT60, wow. And there's a reset button. I believe that switch is to uh, reduce the charging speed. And I can directly uh, plug in like this. So I'll run my AC cord. And of course, we're gonna test its solar charging capability using my 200 watts solar panel 800 watts maximum so let's take a look at the ac charging speed first okay gonna zoom out i'm gonna connect this thing to my wall power outlet and we'll see a real-time reading on its screen okay it's going up um, once again i'm gonna zoom in right there and now i'm going to grab my xt60 solar cable and see how this thing performs oh wow it's over 1200 watts this is incredible honestly i have tested dozens of solar power stations i've never seen anything like this this is insane wow okay i'm going to uh, plug in the solar port i don't think it should be able to take in both at the same time 
That should not help, but uh, I'm going to disconnect the wall power outlet just so we can get a reading from the solar panel. Right? You can. Uh, I think you can still see that um, from this angle. And now the power input is coming off the solar uh, panels. It has an MPPT setup. Uh, it's only taking in 23 watts because I'm gonna switch over here. As you can see, this solar panel is kind of shaded. If I move it out of the shade, I should be able to get a better, um, better result. Give me a second. Uh, by the way, I'm using this MagSafe battery bank for attaching my phone and so I can uh, freely remove it. Anyway, I'm gonna move the solar panel this way. Hopefully we'll get a better solar output. I have two panels daisy chained. MC4 connection. I think that's a little bit shade here. I'm gonna disconnect the AC cord just in case. Uh, they are not angled perfectly to the sun, but uh, that's what we got right now. Again, one continuous shot. I'm gonna zoom in and see the power input from the EcoFlow. In the EcoFlow, okay, 23 watts. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, I, well, I think I, I just uh, stepped into the shade again. So I created a shade. Hopefully this will increase or I got pretty bad panels. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, let's move on and I'll test the Dewalt miter saw, see if it will be able to handle the miter saw. Still charging, that's cool. So I'm going to move over here and plug in the AC cord. Uh, I'm sorry, not the AC cord, so it's not charging itself. Uh, the miter saw. AC cord from my Dewalt 12 watts, 12 uh, inches miter saw, which may pull over 2000 watts surge power. And this thing can handle uh, 2400 watts. And I can also charge my phone and other accessories, of course, from the, its USB port. But I'm more interested in this application as I'm working on my deck, right? So I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, 45 degrees, that's fine. I'm gonna make another cut. Let's secure this piece for safety. Hearing protection. Uh, make sure, uh, you can take a look here on its um, power reading, see if it will exceed its like 2000 watts, I don't know. Okay, not on yet. Okay, AC is on. That is perfect. Let's see. 1,000 watts. Okay, 1,000 watts continuous. Not too bad. I would have to hook up my Dewalt table saw and run both at the same time. I think that may be able to trigger another reset uh, for power over draw, I guess. But for now, I think this is a valid test. <laughs> it's a beast. Well, absolutely the, the, the most powerful machine I've ever tested so far. So I can um, maybe do this. I'll grab my, oh, my Dewalt charger. So you can um, run the Dewalt battery bank or charger off the grid just by getting a cup of solar panels. Then charge the batteries like this. That should uh, greatly increase the runtime of all these power tools. Uh, let's see. Of course, I would like to keep them in the shade whenever possible. 111 watts of uh, charging the Dewalt. Uh, and these USB-C ports are going to be perfect for charging the 
uh, MacBooks or you know iPhone iPads these are rated at 100 watts each so I can charge two laptops MacBook Pro 16 inch at the maximum speed well it is just heavy though uh, I would po po to poly totally put it on casters or um, you know put it in the shade uh, to avoid overheating and I can easily move it around on the deck as I'm trying to refinish the deck just as a quick overview of what I'm doing here I have my Dewall tool set up and this is um, yeah this is what I'm doing uh, for the past few days so can I, I can work off the grid Oops. Okay. Real cool setup. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.